my name is Kirsty Lane and this video is going to go through how to set up a nebulizer. This is often for our COPD or asthmatic patients that might be on nebulizers four times a day. So we've got a patient here who's needing oxygen and our, in order to deliver a nebulizer you need one of these air driven um, compressor machines which you'll be able to get from the equipment library. You're going to need your nebulizer chamber and you're going to need one of your Mass again with the um, simple clear port on the end and you're going to need some oxygen tubing. So obviously you've looked at your prescription and seen what kind of drug you need to deliver. So you get, you get the drug ready, you get your devices ready. So I'm going to open up my nebulizer chamber. I'm going to connect it to my um, mask and then going to connect the end of the oxygen tubing to the end of this nebulizer chamber. I would then use the other end of the port to connect it to the port on the nebulizer machine. I've then got my nebulizer solution, whatever that may be. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it and pour it down into the middle of the device. So open that and I'm just going to pour that down into there. You can also put it in before you actually put on the top of the face mask as well. And you can see the solution is there in the chamber. Now that my patient still needs oxygen, um, so this our patient already has a um, nasal cannula on, but if they had a venturi mask on, I would convert them to nasal cannula first prior to administrating the nebulizer because they still need it need it oxygen rather than actually dri driving it by oxygen. So in order to switch the machine on you'll see a green button and you literally press the on button and you're going to hear a big a, a kind of a bit of noise. Then you come to your patient and simply again you need to press this on really firm and come to your patient and just place that over their face and it will mist up against their face. Once, once the um, nebulizer is finished, you can turn it off, remove the mask, and then make sure you clean the chamber at least once a day.